I think my coworkers was trying to call me fat yesterday. But I mean, they weren't trying to be rude about it, but I don't mind. I'm a true fatty. A true fatty, we know we fat. We okay with it, right? Now, them fat asses that you see walking, they the ones that's not okay with it. They be trying to come up with them names like, I'm chunky, I'm chubby, I'm fluffy. No, you fat. But true fatties, we come up with intellectual names. And we don't mind. We just do it just for fun. Like skinny deprived, big boned, thick boned, inflamed organs, thick skinned, genetics. You know, the usual, right? We embrace the fatness. We love food. We can cook it or we know someone else who can cook it, but we never run out of source of food, right? And we know our meals two to three meals in advance, at least. And once you grow with the arts, that two to three meals can change to two to three days in advance. Like I know what I'm eating next Tuesday and today's Sunday. <laughs> and this, yesterday, I went to a fast food restaurant, right? Got me a meal. I got me one extra one for the next day because I knew I was going to be hungry again at 11.43 a.m. Turns out, I was hungry at 11.07 a.m. See, you always got to be prepared. Now, this right here has nothing to do with being a true fatty, but I just want to say it. You got to, you get, when you said something, you got to break, you got to break at least one thing, you know. <laughs> Senior year, I was having a sleepover at a friend's house, and I sat on his couch in his garage. I sat down, that shit broke. Now, I was not the heaviest one there, <laughs> but a true fatty can break without the weight, okay? What's that? I told you I was prepared. Shoot, I got an extra meal yesterday. Wendy's was not supported in this video, but it was good though.